Daisy Kiss, how are you doing? Oh, you know what? Teacher, so happy to see you again. Oh, if you are new to my channel, my name is Teacher Celine. Can everybody say hi, Teacher Celine? And welcome to my online learning channel. For today's activity, I'll be reading you one of my favorite bedtime stories, and it's a classic one. But before we read our bedtime story, let's sing a song. This song is a good one for you to learn more about rhyming words. But wait, what are rhyming words? Rhyming words are words that have the same sound. For example, cat and hat or mop and top don't worry tc kiss this will be really easy just follow teacher celine if you have any instruments please get them now get ready the title of the song is hey diddle diddle hey diddle diddle the cat and the fiddle the cow jump over the moon <laughs> the little dog left to see he's such fun and the dish ran away with the spoon let's do it one more time this time with energy okay one two three go hey diddle diddle the cat in the fiddle the cow jump over the moon <laughs> the little dog left to see he's such fun and the what do you do before going to bed? Is there someone you say goodnight to? Maybe your parents. Yes, do you say goodnight to mommy and daddy? That's great. Or maybe you say goodnight to your friends. Or maybe your grandparents. Do you say goodnight to them? Hmm. Or maybe you could say goodnight to your favorite toy. Or maybe your favorite pillow. <laughs> I always say goodnight to my family. It reminds me to be grateful for the day that has passed. That's why today's book makes a great bedtime story. You know what kids? Bedtime stories are important because they give you more time to bond with your family. Bedtime stories also help you calm down so you can sleep soundly. I have a story. What could it be? <laughs> I have a story. Who could it be? <laughs> I have a story. What could it be? <gasps> Ta -da! The title of the story is Good Night Moon by Margaret Weiss Brown and illustrated by Clement Hurd. Let's start. Good Night Moon by Margaret Weiss Brown Pictures by Clement Hurd In the great green room there was a telephone and a red balloon and a picture of the cow jumping over the moon and there were three little bears sitting on chairs and two little kittens and a pair of mittens and a little toy house and a young mouse and a comb and a brush and a bowl full of mush and a quiet old lady who was whispering hush good night room good night moon good 
Good night, cow. Jumping over the moon. Good night, light. And the red balloon. Good night, bears. Good night, chairs. Good night, kittens. And good night, mittens. Good night, clocks. And good night, socks. Good night, little house. And good night, mouse. Good night, comb. And good night, brush. Good night, nobody. Good night, mush. And good night to the old lady, whispery hush. Good night, stars. Good night, air. Good night, noises everywhere. D M. Yay! Did you guys enjoy our story? Yeah. Now, let's do an art activity. We will make a Mooncraft puffy thing. Ask your guardian to help you out. Here are the materials that you will need. Number one, pencil. Number two, glue. Number three, shaving cream. Number four, paper plate or any cardboard. Number five, mixing bowl. Number six, scissors. And number seven, spatula. Step number one, cut a large circle out of a cardboard. Let's start cutting. You can also use paper plate. Make sure you have scratch papers or newspapers on your desk so you don't make a mess. Let's start mixing. Let's start with our glue. You need one part white glue. and three parts shaving cream. Then, you can now mix them. Let's start painting. You can use a spatula or you can use a paintbrush. All around the mulberry bush, the monkey chased the weasel. The monkey thought was all in good fun. Pop goes the weasel. If you want your moon to be bigger, that's okay. You can use a brush so that your moon will have some textures. Once you're done, let the moon dry overnight. Let's do another activity. I will share with you my activity sheet. Are you all ready? Let's start! This is the activity sheet. Kindly check the description box to download the free template. 
Remember, these are the objects in the story. Let's start. Step number one. Write your name. Step number two. Read the directions. Skill. Counting one-to-one -one correspondence. Directions. Count the following objects. Write the number inside the blank space. Let's practice writing our numbers. Let's trace number one. Start from the top and then go down. Next, let's trace number two. Halfway round and then straight out. Next, number three. Halfway round and halfway round. Next, number four. Make an L and then go down. Next, number five. Down half circle and put a hat. Next, number six. Make a C and then a curl. Next, number seven. Go straight out and then slant down. Next, number eight. Make an S and then curl up. Next, number nine. Make a C and then slant down. Last is number 10. Let's start with one. Start from the top and then go down. Next is zero. Make an oval and then go round. Let's start answering. Let's count the first picture. Here's a tip. Don't forget to mark it so you know it's already done. Let's count the balloons. One and two. Right, number two. Let's read the sentence. I see two balloons. Next, don't forget to mark it. Let's mark the stars. One, two, three, and four. Right number four. Let's read together. I see four stars. Great job. Next, let's count the bunny. One. Right number one. Let's read. I see one bunny. Next. Let's count the clocks. One, two, and three. Right number three. Let's read together. I see three clocks. Very good. Next, let's count the bears. Don't forget to mark it. One, two, Three, four, five, and six. Write number six. Let's read. I see six bears. Great job. Next, let's count the chairs. One, two, three, four, and Five. Right number five. Let's read. I see five chairs. Next, let's count the lampshades. Count slowly. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight. Right? Number eight. Let's read together. 
I see eight lampshades. Great job, TC kids. Next, let's count the moons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Right, number nine. Let's read. I see nine moons. Next, let's count the mice. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Right, number seven. Let's read. I see seven mice. Yay! Last one. Don't forget to mark it and count slowly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right, number ten. Let's read. I see ten houses. Yay! And we are done. If you did it correctly, give yourself a star. Woohoo! Great job, TC kids. That's the end of our fun lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed learning with Teacher Celine. Let's end our lesson by singing a lullaby. Ask an adult to sing this to you before you go to sleep. Now it's time to say goodnight. Say goodnight and sleep tight. Close your eyes and I'll close mine. Say goodnight and sleep tight. Now it's time to say goodnight. Dream sweet dreams for me. If you enjoyed this lesson, please don't forget to like and to subscribe to my channel. See you next time, kids. Good night.